93 boxing. I'm back with a quick video. It seems like Manny Pacquiao is not getting his paycheck yet. Manny Pacquiao obviously fought Jeff Horn. And it, from what it seems like, Bob Arum was pretty happy with the decision. Bob Arum was very happy when Manny Pacquiao was fighting Jeff Horn. And he was not very happy when Manny Pacquiao was trying to make a fight with someone else that's not Jeff Horn. I.e. Amir Khan, i.e. Adrian Bronner, i.e. Terence Crawford. Bob Arum didn't seem too cool when he tried to put the poll up in Twitter. It seemed like Bob Arum really wanted Jeff Horn. And from the decision, personally, I personally feel like Bob Arum really wanted Jeff Horn to win. Even if the fight was fair, you'd think, right, Bob Arum would favor Manny Pacquiao. Just because Manny Pacquiao's been with him for so long and he's part of his promotions, right? Like, Manny Pacquiao's in top rank, right? And... Afterwards, it seems like Manny Pacquiao was not happy with the decision and all that. Manny Pacquiao got, I feel like, got robbed, not just in the ring. Because a lot of people felt like Manny Pacquiao didn't get robbed. It was a closer fight than what some people think. And, you know, close fights are not really robbery. But the fact that Manny Pacquiao was there with him for a long time, with Bob Arum, I kind of expected Bob Arum to favor him. And I guess kind of, like, that's not really robbery then, is it? But, yeah, fuck it. But Manny Pacquiao seems to be getting robbed with when it comes to financial stuff with, by Bob Arum. You know what, whether this was a robbery or not, Bob Arum definitely was, I feel like, was happy with Manny Pacquiao losing. And he seems like he doesn't want to pay Manny Pacquiao anymore. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Manny Pacquiao is getting fucked over. Manny Pacquiao's in a very difficult situation because I think he's still got one more fight with him. He needs to get paid though. That's kind of fucked up. You go through that training camp. You're old as well, man. You're old. You go through that training camp. It's hard enough already when you're a young person. But when you get old, surely it's even more difficult. And you still don't get paid. That's fucked up, man. That's really fucked up. And it's not like Bob Arum's going to fight. Um, he's going to get Jeff Horn to fight any Keith Thurman. He's not going to get Jeff Horn to fight any Errol Spence, Keith Thurman, nothing like that. You think Bob Arum will do that? Bob Arum didn't want to do that with Manny Pacquiao even. And Manny Pacquiao doesn't even have too many fights left anyway. Like, seriously. Jeff Horn, you know, he's a young guy. And Bob Arum will probably try to use the heck out of him to try to get as much money out of him as possible. Bring a fan base to Australia. You know, when you got a fan base, this is how it works. When you build a fan base in Australia, because we don't really know too many fighters in Australia, right? Now we know Jeff Horn. Now, even if Jeff Horn, like, if, whether Jeff Horn beats someone, right? He beats person A. That person A is now known, Right? Even if he loses to someone, that person now has a big amount of recognition and they can be all under top rank. You know, Bob Arum will probably grow in Australia there, his top, his promotions. And that's a lot of money for Bob Arum. That's the reason I feel like he did it. Because imagine if Manny Pacquiao fought at Terence Crawford for like not I mean Adrian Bronner let's say Terence Crawford's not too big of a name in my opinion but Adrian Bronner's a big name there's no excuse for the Bronner fight to not happen although I hear Bronner was wanting 10 million I do think that's a bit excessive but hey listen the American fight could have happened I don't think American gives a fuck about if it's 10 million or not and American had a, like all those three fighters had a good chance of beating Manny Pacquiao, and let's say Amir Khan did, right? He, my, Bob Arum just made a big amount of money from Manny Pacquiao, but that's it. With Jeff Horn, he can make money. He made money here, because he made the event in Australia, where it was a pretty big event. But with Jeff Horn, he's going to try using use and hype him up, and at least in Australia, he'll be able to make good money, even if it's not as big as Pacquiao Khan, right? But he'll be able to make good money, and he'll be able to make good money with him for a longer time. 
and probably using him he can use he can probably get more people from australia that he can make money off maybe he has more fighters in australia that might fight jeff horn in the future we just don't know and even if he doesn't let's say he fights jeff horn right hey shit that guy gets recognition right and he might sign up to top rank that's money for top rank and you know top rank grew now obviously People in Australia might want to sign up to top rank, right? Because we don't know too many Al Heyman fighters that's in Australia. So if you're a boxer, maybe in Australia, you're going to the highest, highest level. Top rank might be the closest option to make um, to choose. I see what Bob Arum's done here, man. Like people don't realize, like it is a huge fight in Australia. It, well, this was a huge fight in Australia. And with the Austra event taking place in Australia, Bob Arum made a lot of money. He's really ripping apart Manny Pacquiao. That, that's extremely fucked up, man. And I think Manny Pacquiao will probably eventually get the paycheck, but... Damn. It's still scary, man. Knowing that you worked so hard for that. Like, just imagine you worked... And your one month salary, you haven't got it yet. Like, and it's been like a month or two. That's kind of how it feels. It's been how long has it been since Manny Pacquiao fought Jeff Horn? It's been a while, isn't it? But yeah, man. Manny Pacquiao. I hope he gets the money. I really hope. You know, I have criticized Manny Pacquiao for things like you know little things here and there, but I wouldn't wish this on anyone. To be honest, this is as bad as being in a car accident. That's not extremely lethal but still gave you some or like this is almost as bad as being stabbed but like coming out alive obviously being stabbed and being dead is worse but but being stabbed and coming out alive but coming out healthy but with an injury that takes time to recover is still scary you know it's the thought of being stabbed is scary even if you come out alive and this this is the same man or maybe this is not as bad but still man this is still uh, let me know what you think. Do you think he's going to get his money soon? I think he will. Um, I hope he will. I hope Freddie Roach hasn't got his money yet. 93 Boxing. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out.